A lot of attention on Huntsville tonight down in South Texas where the execution of Ivan Cantu was carried out despite protesting from a number of people who believed that he was innocent. And the man convicted of killing two people in a Dallas apartment 24 years ago was pronounced dead today. 6.47 p.m. as CBS News Texas was the first to report. J.D. Miles has an exclusive interview with the Collin County District Attorney who says no one should doubt whether Cantu was guilty of his crimes. Ivan Cantu spent his final day seeking a stay of execution. His mother among those who told CBS News Texas at 5 p.m. today, nothing else could be done. Our last hope is Abbott. The governor took no action, and Cantu was put to death by lethal injection in Huntsville 24 years after the brutal execution-style murders of his cousin and the victim's fiance. I think first and foremost, I'm relieved for the victim's families. Collin County District Attorney Greg Willis told us after the execution that justice was served, despite the protests from across the country from those who believe Cantu was denied a fair trial and convicted on weak evidence. I just want people to know who are concerned, uh, if there are people concerned, uh, that this was overwhelming evidence of a guilty man. The most compelling evidence may have come out after the trial, as CBS News Texas revealed last night. An affidavit filed by Cantu's trial attorneys after his conviction stated their client privately admitted to the murders before his trial, which affected their defense strategy. It led them to believe that a state-sponsored psychiatric evaluation could indicate that Cantu was a sociopath, which they believed would substantially lower their already slim chance for a life sentence. The attorneys even quoted Cantu's admission that he had indeed killed Mosqueda for ripping him off on a drug deal. And Kitchen just happened to be at the Mosqueda home and that I didn't want to leave any witnesses. Collin County's DA believes the case against Cantu was strong even without that. Uh, we had compelling evidence against him. Uh, any number of things, including his fingerprint directly marked on the magazine of the firearm that he used in the murders. The presence of the victim's DNA on the firearm uh, that had his print on it. The victim's DNA on the bloody clothing found in his apartment. This was the first execution this year in Texas. Another death row inmate is scheduled to have his sentence carried out in two weeks. J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.